Hey there and welcome to yet another amazing class with us by Jews. I'm Aishwarya and in today's video we are going to be learning about the nervous tissue which is one among the important subtopics from the chapter tissues. Now before we get started, if this is the first time that you are visiting the 9 10 10 channel and this is the first video that you are watching, I would like to welcome you to our channel and our small little family that we have. Now the 9th and 10th space is a channel wherein we provide you with amazing academic related classes and of course we prepare you for your upcoming exams and give you some strategies that will help you ace them. Now if you want to know more about what is happening in our channel, I would like you to bear with me for just about 2 minutes when I quickly take you through it. Because we have a lot of interesting things that constantly keep happening in our channel. Now. Before we get started with that, I would request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications because trust me, the next two minutes that I tell you will definitely change your life. Now, are you someone who inspires to be a doctor or an engineer or maybe a scientist or maybe in the future a lawyer? Whatever you want to be in life, you can definitely achieve it. But at some point, we must give some competitive exams for the same. And at that point, when we're giving our competitive exams for the first time, it gets very overwhelming, which is why we have ANTHE for you. That is the Akash National Talent Hunt exam. And this, of course, is absolutely free of cost. You can enroll for free. The link is there in the description box and you can register for it. Now, you must be asking, right, why should I do this? Why should I register for ANTHE? Because you see, it will give you a first taste into what preparation for competitive exams look like and how you need to prepare. So that later on, when you are actually preparing, you would know what works and what doesn't, right? So it kind of gives you a head start amongst other students. Now, apart from that, it's not just any exam that you just give. There are a lot of things that are there up for grabs. You see that there's 100% scholarship, cash rewards, and a few lucky students will win a most coveted trip to NASA. So this exam is happening in November and I request all of you to register for the exam. It is absolutely free. And currently in our channel, we have the mission midterm series going on where we are preparing you for your midterms in under 45 days with an exclusive set of sessions with one shots, important questions, giving you chapter revision, doubt solving sessions, exam strategy sessions and so much more. So as you can see, right? This is the one-stop space for everything. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget. And last but not the least, we have the Baiju's mini learning program and we have an exclusive offer going on for the YT First Code where the first thousand users every week can avail the mini learning program for free. And in the Baiju's mini learning program, we offer you the two teacher advantage where you have live doubt solving, post-class assessments and the whole feel of it, right? It's going to be a different experience altogether. And again, your one-stop academic solution. So if you want to avail it, be among those first thousand users and use the code. Yes. So now that I've taken two minutes of your time and I've told you what all amazing things you can use. Let's get started with our class on nervous tissue. Now, of course, in our class today, we are going to be covering some important concepts. So we are going to start off with understanding what is the nervous system and why we need a nervous system in our body. Then we will go on to understanding about the structure of the neuron and the function. And we will learn about nerve impulses as well. Now, with this brief understanding, I have a small question for you. I'm sure that there are a few things that we do without really thinking, right? For example, we don't think when we breathe. We just breathe. And we know that breathing is essential for us, right? At the same time, let's say that there's a ball coming your way, right? So somebody's hit a six and there's a ball coming. You're just walking by on the side and it's coming in your direction. And you know that if you don't dodge, the ball might hit you. And you don't really think much about it. You just dodge and you go ahead, right? At the same time, if you touch something hot as well, you immediately know that you have to withdraw your hand. Or when you are feeling hungry, you just know what to do. You just need to go and eat. So in all these cases, we don't really think much about it, but we kind of end up doing it. Whether it's breathing, reacting to something, or when we feel hungry, right? We just do it without putting too much thought. 
But what you don't realize that you are doing is that you are coordinating with your surroundings, right? Very important word. We are coordinating with our surroundings. And apart from that, if you see, within our body, we are coordinating with the different systems, right? So if our, some part of our body requires energy, we know that our body will be able to do that. It's coordinating with one another. But at the same time, for all this coordination to happen, someone must be overlooking it, right? Someone should be making sure that everything is working right and everything is going with, you know, properly. So this is done by the nervous system. So the nervous system is what controls and regulates all of these activities and it will coordinate it as well. So it has two things to do. And this coordination is not just internally, but with our external surroundings. And we see that this nervous system is made up by the important kind of animal tissue that is the nervous tissue. So let's understand what all is there in a nervous system, right? Because when you say it's a system, it is made up of different things put together. Now we see that the nervous system mainly includes the brain and the spinal cord. Now we know that the brain is a structure that rests in our head and it is the control center that controls and coordinates all of these activities along with the spinal cord. And we see that this brain will pass on. So it will relay messages or it will transmit information to different parts of our body. And it also receives information from different parts. It's not just the brain, even the spinal cord will receive and transmit information. And this information is passed on through nerves, right? The tubular structures that run throughout the body, transmitting this information. But what makes it all up, right? That's what we want to know. So you see, we say that there is something which is the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. And this structural and functional unit of the nervous system is nothing but the neurons. So the neurons are the ones that primarily make up the nervous system. And we also find another kind of cell that is the glial cells. Now, glial cells provide support and they bind all these neurons together, right? Their main function is to provide support. So now next up, let us understand about neurons. Now, neurons are also often known as nerve cells, right? So if, you, if I use this interchangeably, you don't need to worry. They are more or less the same thing. And as you can see, they have an elongated structure and these neurons make up the nervous tissue that is there. Now, if you see the neurons have a primary structure here, which is known as the cell body or the cyton. And we see that the cyton here has a prominent nucleus. And of course, we see that surrounding it, we have the cytoplasm. And sometimes in the cytoplasm, we find certain granules known as the Nissel's granules. Now, we see here that from the cell body or the cyton, we observe some cytoplasmic projections that are there. Now, these cytoplasmic projections are known as dendrites or the singular form is dendron. And one such long cytoplasmic projection that is there is called as the axon. Now, this axon is surrounded by an insulating sheet, right? So, what I'm drawing above this is what you need to focus on. It is surrounded by an insulating sheet known as the myelin sheet. And this axon will then end in terminal bulb-like structures known as the axonal ends or the axon terminals. And we see that these neurons are arranged end to end, right? Which means that they are arranged one after the other in this manner. And they are responsible for re relaying the information or transmitting the information to and fro different parts. And we see that this information that is transmitted is in the form of electric impulses or electric signals. And we call them as nerve impulses. Yes, so this is important to understand. Information is relayed through electrical signal, signals or nerve impulses. So how exactly does a nerve impulse go throughout the nervous system? So for that, you need to understand this. So here, as you can see, we have two structures, that is one neuron, and we have neuron two here. Yes? Now we see that neuron one and neuron two are attached, are, are arranged one after the other. But they are not attached. 
we see that between neuron 1 and 2 we see that there's a fine gap that exists which is known as a synapse so this right here is a small gap that is present between both the neurons now we see that nerve impulses are received by the dendrons so we see that the dendrites i'm sorry dendrites of neuron 1 will receive the impulses right and then it will pass it on to the cyton and through the cyton it will go to the axon and reach the axon terminal and from here we see that a chemical reaction takes place and then it will get passed on to neuron number two and same thing dendrite will receive go to cell body and then it will go through the axon and that is exactly why we have a myelin sheath or a sheath that acts as an insulating structure so that there is no intermixing of signals when it's getting passed on from one to the other because our nervous system has many many neurons right so this is how the electrical signals are transmitted now don't get worried about seeing the term nerve fiber it is just another name for axon and we see that when many axons come together and they get bundled up in a tubular medullary sheath we call this as a nerve and we see that this will also be insulated to prevent intermixing of signals so with this, if you see, we have learned about the structure of the neuron, the neuron that makes up the nervous tissue and how nerves are formed. So before we wind up, here's a quick question for all of you. Describe the structure of the neuron in the comments section below and state its function. So this right here is a very simple question and I request all of you to give me the answers in the comment section. And of course, we will be sharing this particular PDF in our Telegram community. So if you still have not joined our Telegram community, I request you to join it. Because you know that we're a very small family and we're always looking to grow. And we're trying a lot of different things and we need your support. And of course, in our Telegram community, we have a lot of things for you. We have homework questions, we'll be sharing session PDFs, and of course, uh, we will all be coming live on Fridays. One all every week, we will definitely be coming so that we can talk and interact with all of you. So if you're still not part of it, please do join. And of course, you know that no matter what, we've got you covered. So if you like this video, please make sure that you hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Hoping to see you all very soon again. Bye-bye.